Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and this week I'm spying on my wolfies with a secret dog cam and I'm going to be putting down lots of different types of food and see if they're going to steal it or restrain. Place your bets now. No, 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 no! No eat! No touch! wolf dogs are naughty food hounds known to eat everything off the surfaces in my kitchen when I'm out of the room, including dinner plates, even food cooking in the pans and their own raw food out of my fridge. So will they under strict command be able to resist an array of tempting treats I'm going to present them with today, starting with the most boring and working up to the most tempting. Today I'm using a secret dog spy camera which will tell me everything that my dogs have been up to while I'm out of the room by linking with my mobile phone. If they are good, I can toss them a biscuit through the device. If they are naughty, I will be able to record everything that happens. Now first of all, let me introduce you to the pack. This is Kiyoshi and she is the matriarch of the family, 11 years old and should be the sensible one. She's here as a control, as I'm hoping she will be able to show that resistance is possible. This is Kumi. She's a very clever and beautiful wolf dog. She has the brains to listen and obey, but also the evil genius to do stuff behind my back and then stitch up my other dogs and pretend they did it instead. And finally, this is Mr. Blue. He basically has a baby's personality. He has zero ability to withhold his emotions or tummy pangs. I really don't think he will be able to resist anything today, but we will see. The first dish is an unappetizing dish of veggies with some berries just to tempt them a little. Dogs generally should be able to behave themselves around a plate of greens, but will the berries ruin their resistance? We will soon find out. Okay, Kiyoshi. Right, now are you gonna be a good girl? No, eat, no, no. So we've got the berries and the broccoli and the carrots. Okay. Don't eat it. No. Right, come here. Sit. Sit. Wait. Wait. Leave it. Leave it. No touch, Blue. No touch. No eat. No. No eat, Blue. Leave it. Leave it. So I headed off into my secret spy room to watch exactly what would happen. Kiyoshi, as I expected, was very good. She simply lay down and waited for me. Kumi had a little smell, but it didn't go any further than that and she really hates fruit and veg. She even has a little howl while waiting for my return. Oh. Blue 
Blue, on the other hand, had no self-restraint at all and went straight in. He managed to polish off most of the food, the berries being his favourite. Oh my God. He's actually eating the fruit and vegetable. He's such a pig. Okay, so plate two is cold pizza. So we're upping the game a little bit more now. Um, it's real human food, which of course is gonna be very difficult for them not to want to eat. But what I did was I cooked it yesterday and I cooled it overnight in the fridge. And um, in order to make it less appetizing, because I think when it's steaming hot and they can smell all the cooking, it's even more yummy for them. Some pizza here. No eat. No. No eat. Leave. Leave it. Leave it. No. Leave blue. No eat. Blue. Blue. No eat. Leave it. So again, Kyoshi being my most trusted wolf dog, simply lay down again, waiting for my return. Oh. Kumi couldn't resist the pizza and delicately went in for a nibble. Blue, on the other hand, had no regrets and ploughed right in like a bulldozer. Oh, I cannot trust my dogs at all. it looked like I'd lost Kyoshi, but she held up and throughout the other's massive binge fest, little Kyoshi waited patiently for me like a true angel. Salmon was next and the biggest challenge yet. Kiyoshi, my angel, simply lay down. What a sweetie. Kumi went in pretty much straight away. Blue's nose was on fire with the smell even before I could get out of the door. But then, oh no, Kyoshi got up and then, ah, oh, even my angel had given in to her innermost urges. 
Things just went downhill afterwards and all three dogs started yes. eating everything. Blue even headed to the plate before I'd got out of the door. So now I thought that the game's rules needed to be changed as the height of the stool was obviously a huge problem. So I moved the camera up high and the food up onto my countertops, the same place to where I find food eaten and missing on a daily basis. First Tess was Kumi on her own in the kitchen with some cheese, raw chicken and cooked chicken. I left the room and waited. After a while and noticing her little wet nose on overdrive, she jumped up and licked a chicken piece. I expected her to eat it, but surprisingly jumped back down and waited for me. It seemed that the guilt that she shouldn't be up there was even too much for her. But it did back up my suspicions that my food was licked on a daily basis. Yucky. Blue, surprisingly, on the other hand, didn't go near the countertops at all and just stood there with his head hanging waiting for me for over 20 minutes. So I decided then for the ultimate test, dog treats on the countertop, when both wolf dogs, Cooney and Blue, were in the room at the same time. These by Benji Dried Biltong are their daily treats, and the dogs would know that they were allowed this food, but not allowed to steal it off countertops. So what would they do? No eat, leave it. Literally, the moment I left, both Blue and Kumi were up on the countertop, eating everything. In fact, Blue was so mad scoffing that Kumi had to get down and leave him to it. I'm hoping that it was her conscience, but probably just Pig Blue annoying her. My conclusion today is obviously wolf dogs are unable to restrain themselves if food is at the same level as their face. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button in the bottom corner below. And be sure to tune in every single week where I'll be bringing you some more exciting episodes on animals, wolves, wildlife conservation and animal rescue all over the world. Bye for now. Hey guys, just a quick one, just to remind you that Animal Watch Shop is now open and you can get one of these amazing Animal Watch t-shirts and we can get them for ladies, we can get them for men, toddlers and babies in various colours. So you can have them in black, which is the colour I like to, to wear, but they're also in various other colours. You can also pick up some other merchandise like a cool Animal Watch mug, bag and some t-shirts from all the different episodes that I'll be filming. So some of the t-shirts are customised to the particular episode. Now also, can you please send me your ideas? What would you like to see on an Animal Watch t-shirt? What animals would you like me to feature? Now I know you all love wolves, so would you like me to make some more wolf t-shirts? and more wolf merchandise. So please, please write all your comments in the box below and I will read every single one of them and listen to what you want me to get. And I will do my best to put it in the shop.